Researchers at Khalifa University's Healthcare Engineering Innovation Center have developed a working prototype of emergency ventilators, which can be mass produced at a low cost of a few hundred dollars. It has been made using 3D printed materials and has been tried and tested using mannequins so far. Dr. Cesar Stefanini, head of the university's HEIC, says they aim to mass produce around 250 units a day, and it is also an easy to set up system. What we use in this system to send air in the patient, this is a substitute of the, of the lung of the patient, is a um, respiratory uh, aid, it's called a resuscitator. This is a bag usually uh, supposed to be operated manually by uh, nurses or by specialized uh, uh, personnel. And in this case, what we are doing, we are operating this balloon not manually, but instead automatically. This project is expected to cater to the rising global demand of ventilators to support the COVID-19 patients. This particular prototype, however, is meant to be used as an emergency support unit until a proper ventilator is made available for the patient. It also has a battery life of up to 10 hours. This is an emergency system. It's not supposed to be a system for, uh, let's say, uh, normal use in hospitals, but only in emergency, but still has all the key functionalities of a, of a ventilator. Now that the prototype is ready, researchers are hoping to receive the go-ahead with certifications for it to be approved for medical use globally. From a technical point of view, yes, it can be easily integrated. Now, of course, there is need of assessment by medical doctors, by experts. Uh, of course, they've been in the loop since day one. They worked with us and they are already happy. But uh, there is need of a formal process for um, approval. Next step is to study uh, how to uh, make this a product mm -hmm. and to set up a production line basically or at least the project for a production line that it will be not the call of the researcher whether to go for it or not but at least we can help in the design phase of this uh, let's say production facility. Uh, if we look at the global demand mm -hmm. of course numbers are high and this is actually the exercise we are doing to try to simulate uh, what could be our capability of supplying the international market. In a matter of days, the team aims to have the plan for the production plant finalized and the first units ready to support the UAE's fight against COVID-19. And uh, the production facilities we are, uh, we are uh, planning to make as uh, a throughput capability of uh, hundreds of units a day.